please read what it says. This is this by is the way, can I just say piece. three billion quid a year. We last tested it in 2016. We took eight years to get the submarine right in front of the whole of NATO and the Defence Secretary. This is what happened. So that warhead sort of went into the ocean and sank. This is a quote that told Jerome. Um, it just it left the submarine, but it just went plop right next to them. Just went plop. I, right I do next have to them. say the other part of the article that the government saying that this was. Uh, event specific and they said if this firing had taken place on a real patrol mission rather than under test conditions it would have been successful i don't understand that but we're joined now by legendary i love this man legendary political sketch writer quentin let's and the former defense minister ivor kaplan uh, quentin um <clears throat> morning daddy <laughs> yes morning boy <laughs> how are you he said how was the baby i said turned out to be a girl another wedding to pay for yeah, there we go um Quentin, uh, embarrassment. Terrible. And an, Terrible and an absolute to me when I found out that we've tested it twice in eight years at three billion a year and it's gone wrong both times. How do you expect people to have confidence in our military, especially with what's going on in the world right now? You wonder what on earth the Royal Navy is playing at. And um, I love the way they say it's event specific. What does that mean? Well, look, we've only tried it twice and it hasn't worked either time. But, <laughs> Quentin, but the point of a test is to, to run these things, to work out if there are any problems we know about them. This is a very serious matter, actually, because the timing of this is appalling. Um, the one person who will be laughing is Nakazov this morning is V. Putin, uh, resident of the Kremlin. And it is very bad news. It's humiliating for our armed forces. It's humiliating for the government. It's humiliating for Britain, I'm afraid, and for the West. And uh, the, um, the Russians will be unable to believe their luck. So whoever is running the Royal Navy, if there is anyone running it, uh, needs to get this sorted out very fast. Ivor, if we could bring you in, thank you so much indeed for joining us on Talk Today, former Defence uh, oh, Minister. I, I mean, this is... I mean, honestly, man, you've got to share my... Uh, I mean, it's just horrifying how embarrassing and bad we look, isn't it, my friend? I, I agree entirely with what Quinton has just said. I mean, th this is a big embarrassment for the, for the Navy and, of course, for the United Kingdom. And uh, it, it, it has to stop. I mean, twice in seven or eight years, and it's 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 failed on both times. So, I think if, uh, or as we know, the uh, the Defence Secretary was there watching this, uh, and and he needs to make sure it doesn't happen again. Ivor, what do you make of the statement that we've got from the Ministry of Defence, who say the test has reaffirmed the effectiveness of the UK's nuclear <laughs> deterrent, in which we have absolute confidence? There's a degree to which they've got to say that publicly. I, I, I'm not sure that I would ever have allowed a, a statement like that to go on something like this uh, at those points. Trying to pretend it was OK just seems to me to be the, completely the wrong way to handle such an important issue, uh, which it is. It is a very important uh, piece of equipment that uh, the UK has. And as, and, and as Quentin quite rightly said... Um, with what's going on in the world, and we'll get to that in just a tick, but yeah. a certain V. Putin, as my dad said, is, is absolutely... He must be sitting there laughing at us. And I, I know I'm old-fashioned, but we were supposed to be strong militarily. We were supposed to be a force to be reckoned with. We're a laughing stock. Uh, I, I don't know whether that's to me or Quinton, but I, I, I generally agree with you, uh, Jeremy, on, on this. You know, it, it's very, very... Uh, embarrassment for uh, for for the UK and for this to happen, and of course, anything like this means that uh, um, you know Russia Russia gains from these things, and uh, and we really don't want it to. Absolutely, and of course, we are just in negotiations to buy, to upgrade uh, Trident, and uh, I don't know whether this will have an effect on the price, either up or down. I mean, I'd have thought we can say to the Americans, "Come on, look, you know, we're paying tremendous amounts of money." and we want to have a, a machine um, that actually does work. 